Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am overjoyed to be joining the stamp market this month for their March release. And today I'm going to be using the brand new Bluminous stamp set. This does have coordinating dies, but I will not be using them today. And I'm also going to be using the Hay die, which comes with the actual word die and then a shadow die that you have the option of adhering the word die to just for a little bit of dimension. As you can see, I sort of stamped out the uh, sort of like a wreath type deal <laughs> around my card front, uh, but I decided that I actually want it to be a background. So I'm going to fill in that center section with some of the other stamps in the Bluminous stamp set. So to do that, I'm using my Mini Misty and I'm just arranging these stamps how I think that they would look best. I go back and forth a few times and I was trying to make it so that I could just do it in one pass through, but there are a couple of blank spots, but I remedy that in a little bit in a really simple way. So after I get everything where I think that I would like it and that it would look best, I'm going to just shut my misty door, open it, and then I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm using this ink because it is a Copic safe ink, meaning that the alcohol in the Copic markers won't make the ink run. This is the same for Spectrum Noir markers or any markers that have alcohol, that have an alcohol base. So as you can see here, I'm using an acrylic block just to add some of those tiny images into those spaces that I left that I wasn't able to fit in while I was doing it on my Misty. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my coloring. I just wanted to show this part briefly because I wanted to show you how I normally do my Copic coloring, which is my base layer, my lightest. I'll then go in with my darkest shade on the shadow areas and then blend that all out with my mid tone. In this one, I do it a little differently because I do use my mid tone first and then my darkest shade, but this is because I'm using a yellow and a brown shade and I wanted to make sure that I got the differentiation there and I wasn't sure that blending the brown out with the orange would work all that well. I'm now going to create a drop shadow, a dropped shadow look, which you can see on the perimeter that I've already stamped and colored. And this just gives the appearance of a little bit more dimension than you normally would get on a one layer card. So to do that, I'm going to use C5, C3, C1, and the colorless blender from my Copic markers. For my first step, I'm just going to surround each individual image and I'm just doing this one here to show you, but I will show you all of them as well. I'm doing each individual image surrounded in C5. I'm then doing C3 to blend that out a bit, C1, and then going in finally with my colorless blender just to blend it all in together. You can see it here a bit with the one flower that I colored and I'm showing, uh, but I wanted you to be able to see my process and how it comes together when all of the drop shadows are added because it especially makes a really big impact when you get them all working together. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up so that I can show you my process and I will come back in just a bit to finish the card. blended that all out with the colorless blender just to make sure that everything looks cohesive together. I'm going to take my hay dye and just sort of line it up and see where I would like it. This is me pausing for a minute and just staring because I wasn't sure if I wanted to continue. And this is a really real moment that I feel like a lot of us card makers have. So I just wanted to show me sitting here staring at this background that I just took a really long time to color. <laughs> 
deciding if I wanted to use it or not. So anyway, here I go with the hay dye, and these are the two pieces that it cuts out. I cut the actual word dye out from a gold metallic cardstock, and I am adhering it to the shadow dye, which I cut out of a white piece of cardstock. I'm going to use a sentiment from Circles and Sentiments, which is also a new stamp set, and I'm using I Think You're Fabulous. I love this stamp set. It's got really nice modern patterns and really great sentiments as well. So I'm using again the I Think You're Fabulous sentiment, and I'm taking that with VersaFine Onyx Black ink, and I am just stamping it onto a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and cut that down to a nice thin strip and I'm going to end up adhering it right over the lower portion of that Y there. I'm going to do both the Hey Word and the I Think You're Fabulous in, I'm going to adhere it with a foam tape so it's nice and popped up and has that nice contrast against this busy background. So here is the final card. I love the way it turned out. I took my card front, which was cut to four by five and a quarter and adhered it to an A2 size card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. This video, as well as my blog post, is part of the mini blog hop that the stamp market has going on right now for their March release. So please go to the description to find the link to that, as well as all of the products in the March release for the stamp market. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.